Ever wondered how to turn your average map into an animated journey? Today we are diving into the magic of map animation using CapCut. From tracing epic road trips to visualizing historical events, we will show you how to add the extra oomph to your storytelling game. Get ready to take your audience on a wild ride they wouldn't forget. Map animations like Vox look really hard to create, but are insane easy in CapCut. Vox uses Illustrator and After Effects and yeah, it's pretty complicated if you follow Johnny Harris for map animations if you don't have time for such things so making a simple map in CapCut is usually all you need there is a simple way to animate map in CapCut go to Google and download a PNG of globe you want you can also use Canva to download free globe or a map then once again go to Google or Canva and download some PNGs of arc lines or the styles you like you can also download your desired aeroplanes open CapCut create a new project import the map and also import the lines or the arc you have downloaded from the google drag this map to your timeline and it's a png you can convert any map into png you can drag any straight line or you can also drag an arc like this one so whatever you need you can easily drag that one according to your needs in our case we are gonna bring this one now what you need to do just go to the very start of this line and go to video go to mask and uh, before going to the mask just make sure that you have selected the points where you want to go from point a to point b let's say these are the points now just go to the start go to video mask and here you choose horizontal so you just split this one here a little bit and bring this one here and bring a keyframe there is a keyframe here now go to the very end and rotate it all the way like this and there is another keyframe like that so our animation is like this and in the center you can just go and increase some feather maybe at this place it's going ahead of the time once you're done with that just go to stickers and here you type plane and you will see a lot of different icons there here you can choose whatever you like and bring this one to the timeline and go to the very end cut this part trim it and now you have a big plane there but you can see that it's not moving it's static so you can just make it smaller and place it on the line here like this it's very small but yeah you can do that i zoom this timeline here and rotate it a little bit like so that it's accurately on the line and this one was the beginning of the line i give first keyframe to this plane here now i move where our line ends just move this one a little bit like that and i need to bring this plane to this place and rotate a little bit like according to the line make it a little bit inside like that so our animation is like that but you see that the plane is going in a different direction but the line is going in a different direction so what can you do you just basically bring this one here bring this one up to this place like that now there is another direction if you see it's not very smooth here it's going away as well like from the line here as well bring it on the line so it will be like this cool this is really nice and if there is any problem you can just go right click on this uh, sticker go to show keyframe animation and here you can adjust animation just click on this side and here you can select the central one that's arc circular one whenever you move your cursor you can see that it's on the right track you can move it up and down like this one if i move up you can see that the plane is moving up and down so you can adjust this one exactly on the line so that you will create a great animation that is following your line there nice you can add some sound effects as well like go to media audio go to sound effects and here type airplane drag any sound you like just trim the extra part and boom here you can just go fade in and fade out for your audio we have created the animation but the problem is the map is not moving just select all of them now create a compound clip go to very start of this clip now go to keyframe and give the first keyframe you adjust it accordingly and here you can zoom like this one and now go to the very end give another keyframe and here you can rescale your video like that a little bit smaller like this one okay fit to the screen and so if you go there now it's like that 
once again you can go to animations and here you choose in and out animation for the in animation you can choose this one and for the out animation you can choose some fade away or turning to the right side so for now i just choose this smoke one increase and decrease the duration of your animation and now this is the animation all right this is way more shorter because like i created a shorter animation you can drag this one to your timeline the place you want because it's the compound clip i can't right now but you can drag it up to 10 seconds 15 seconds or whatsoever the duration you need it's very simple just go export your video and you are good to go